Hey, what's up, everybody? Rob Cohey here with a quick tip for you. Um, pretty recently, we introduced this um, this idea of assembly context, and I came across a situation in a project that I'm working on where it came in super handy. So here's a foot to a um, a saw stand that I'm working on um, that I needed to know the angle of the floor, right? But the sub-assembly that I was modeling it on, here's the, the leg sub-assembly here, um, I modeled it vertically. I didn't model it in context of the assembly. I, I just modeled it as a sub-assembly, and then I put it into uh, the assembly. But I hadn't yet designed the foot of this yet because I, I knew the bottom angle was going to be tough. So um, as you can see in the browser here, this is a distributed model, um, uh, something I'm, I'm a really big fan of with the recent introduction of Edit in Place uh, that we put into, uh, uh, into Fusion not too long ago. But here, again, the, the ground plane is the critical element that I was looking to do. So in order to establish assembly context, what you do is you, you, you invoke edit in place. So it, it, it enables you to edit a externally referenced file inside of Fusion. And you simply start a sketch and project the geometry that you want into either a subassembly or a subcomponent. And in this case, I did that for both the subassembly and the subcomponent, right? So in the subcomponent here, um, you know, buried within the leg subassembly, I just started a sketch, projected geometry, and now I had assembly context. Now, what, what, here's what that gives me. When I invoke assembly context from the subassembly, and I turn on, take a look at this, it positions the subassembly in the orientation for which it is in the subassembly, or I'm sorry, in the master assembly, but I don't have the master assembly open. Awesome. Okay, I know I'm a CAD geek, I know I'm geeking out on this stuff, but it's really handy not to have to have the large assembly open when I'm doing detail part modeling, like I'm doing here. Here I've got a, a part, and, and I, I just, again, I projected geometry, I did my first feature, the extrusion uh, termination point was the ground floor that I had available to me at the part level from the assembly context that we enabled from edit in place instead of Fusion 360. Um, it was a geek out moment for me, not gonna lie. So if you're not yet using assembly context in your subassembly and subcomponents, give it a try. Let us know what you think. We'll see you next time.